everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a guest tour i've been wanting to do this for a while but i haven't had the time to but finally i'm here with a full-on desk tour so let's get started the layout of this desk is very similar to the desk i had at home and honestly i think that helps me a little bit although there is a little bit less storage found in these desks we're gonna first start with the shelves here's the first one as you can see, I actually have quite a lot of things in this shelf. Um, this is the things that I've used the most often and the ones that I've grabbed the most. First of all, I have this container from Daiso and this one is particularly for storing washi tape. All of these are brought from my own home and then these ones were sent to me I also have this little container here. It used to hold a speaker, but now it's just holding little wires and everything. This is for my calculator or for my iPhone, and they just are sitting in the back. In the back, I also have my vacuum cleaner for all the eraser dust and everything. Unfortunately, I don't really use it too often because I don't use pencils that often. And here I have two glasses cases, and this one is blue light glasses. It just holds the blue light glasses, and then this one is actually glasses with prescription in them. In the back, I have a couple of top loaders. You can see they are basically here. Whenever I feel like decorating, I'll probably decorate it although I'm always very nervous on decorating top loaders. And I also have a portable charger here. I actually have two, one's in my backpack and then the other one's always here. It's just to make sure that if anything happens, I can always charge my phone when I need to. I also have in the back a paper cutter. I haven't been using it often because I haven't been journaling often, but that's perfectly fine because I am really excited to start journaling when I have the time to. Also, lastly, I have this little tray. Now this tray is actually the lid for the washi tape but I don't use it too often, so I just thought it would be a nice tray to hold everything. So in here, I have a permanent glue tape, a Muji stapler, and a hole puncher. Moving on to the second shelf, we actually have one right here, and it holds a lot of other stuff as well. So first thing I have is the backdrop for all my Instagram photos. You can see that this is just a pillowcase and I've used this before, so I just leave it on here where it is very accessible. Right here I also have two containers. Now this first container holds all the Crayola Super Tips. Now the Crayola Super Tips are bought from Target and also on the next one they hold my Tombos. On the side I also have my junk journal that is getting really thick. I still have a lot of scraps that I have to put in here but it's always on the side where I can use it whenever I feel like it. Over here in the back, I have one of these really big accordion folders to hold all the stickers. It is particularly heavy and also really large in size, so I didn't put it on my desk. But that's all in this shelf. It's very simple, not a lot of things in it um, because most of the things that I actually use are on my desk. Moving down, I have my backpack here. I always put my backpack to the side. This shelf on the bottom is the largest by far, so I do hold a little bit more in here. The first thing that you can see is a bunch of notebooks on this side. You can see I have the campus notebooks. There's more notebooks in this folder. And then there's also blank sheets of paper for my printer on this side. Inside over here, I have a lot of random things such as masks, notebooks, and a lot of refill containers, which I won't get into, but this box particularly is from Daiso. Shifting on over to this side, we have a little shelf just for my laptop. I don't have a lot of things in here. I just have my laptop, my mouse, and my mouse pad. Now we're heading on to my desk. Here we have a water bottle. This is the water bottle that I always use, as well as a little coaster. I just leave it in this little corner since I don't usually use that space too often. Over here, this is what my desk looks like. The first thing is I have this little book stand and this usually holds my bullet journal. This is what I usually have in a day. And I also decorated this pretty recently, which is why it's on here. I'm trying to decide where I want to put it, but for now it is here, just sitting there. And then moving on over, I have all of the items that I use most regularly. The first thing I have are these Muji dispensers that hold a couple of washi tape. And this is all contained in this little Daiso container. Moving on to the shelves, the first one is 
a bunch of stickers and pins. I have a lot of extra stickers from sticker shops or ones that people sent me. For example, this one is a really cute NCT one that I really like. The second shelf has a lot of different memo sheets that I have yet to use for my journal. And the last one holds all my mild liners. In this container I have showed before, this is the foldable container from Daiso and it basically holds a majority of the things that I reach for the most often. For example, I have these scissors, my X-Acto knife, my gray and black pens, my white gel pens for calligraphy, and my calligraphy pen. And these are all contained in a little pen container that I bought a couple years ago from Muji. Next, we have a couple of things that are on this side and as well as in the back. So let's show the back first. This is my sticker collection. These are several sticker shops that I've bought from and this container is from Daiso. It's a little bit full as you can see, but I've been using them really regularly for my bullet journal. So I really like using them and I grab for them the most often. Next, I have these two to-do lists. This one I actually made for my friends and I, and then this one was actually bought for me from my cousin. And these two do lists that I use are the most useful during the weekend when I don't have a lot of space in my bullet journal to write what I want down. Here are a couple other post-it notes that I have with a bunch of different to-do lists on here. And also right here, I have a couple of vocals and photo cards. So this one is a Jisung photo card and this is a decorated Jungwon Polko. And then I also have one of the Jisung Polaroids from the Hello Future album. Moving on up to the top, I have a couple of decorations. First, we have this lamp. It's actually this really yellowish look to the lamp. I personally don't really like it, but it's the only lamp that I have. And then over here, I actually have my printer. This is used for just printing journaling items. Um, all of the things are mainly online, so I don't really print out any notes for classes. And right over here, I have three things. The first thing is a Minisa clock, and this is something that I painted with my friends back at home. And lastly, I have this frog that I got from Target. Lastly, I have the things in this little container from Daiso. So here are the things in this container. The first thing I have is a tripod for filming videos. Next, I have these two journals. I have a little brain dump for all my, for all my social media items. I have this little notebook that basically holds all of the things. It's like a huge mo memo pad for just taking notes. I also have the Hello Future album as well as the inclusions that came with it. Those are all of the things that are on my desk. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to subscribe and like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!